Merry Christmas! What's going on, smart people? Hope everyone who is celebrating is having a great Christmas. I am. Initially, I wasn't sure what the hell I was going to do for today, because I'm going over to families, it's going to be pretty chaotic, wasn't sure what the video was going to be. Luckily, that decision was kind of made for me when I got a specific present last night. Today, I'm going to be talking about my new toy, my quantum field theory textbook. A few weeks ago, Kelly and I were discussing what each other wanted for Christmas. I was like, I don't know, I'll go check and see if there's any cool textbooks that I can find online. She was like, of course that's what you want for Christmas. Anyways, I was looking into quantum field theory textbooks, and I understand that sort of the, the standard textbook that people like to use is the Peskin and Schroeder textbook. But after looking at the reviews, it seems like a lot of people just don't like the book. Maybe it's just... PTSD from taking a course or something like that, but it got a lot of negative reviews and I checked out different books and one that came heavily recommended was Quantum Field Theory and the Standard Model by Schwartz. People were saying that it was a very good introductory textbook that they wished was recommended to them earlier, that it's relatively comprehensive for how concise it is. Now it's a pretty thick textbook, but you've got to understand how many parts this is split into and that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Now the book is split in between five parts, and within those five parts there's just the chapters that are relevant to those parts. So the first part is field theory, which I would hope there would be a part on that. The second part is quantum electrodynamics, which was really the first quantum field theory. The third part is renormalization. The fourth part is the standard model, which uh, that's one of the reasons I also lean to this book, because I didn't see too many textbooks that really emphasize standard model. Uh, and then the final part is advanced topics, which is relatively vague. So let's go through the specific topics within those sections. There are 36 chapters in this book, and I'm not going to read all of them in this video, but I will leave a link in the description so that you can check out what all of the chapters are. So I'm just going to name some of the bigger ones, or at least ones where I've heard of those names before. Anyways, for part one field theory, it goes over things like Lorentz invariance and second quantization, classical field theory, cross sections, S matrices, and the Feynman rules. Part two goes into quantum electrodynamics, so you've got spin one and gauge invariance, scalar electrodynamics, spinners, spin statistics, QED, and path integrals. Turns out I actually am kind of reading all of the chapters. Part three, renormalization, the Casimir effect, vacuum polarization, uh, mass renormalization, renormalized perturbation theory, divergences, uh, non-renormalizable theories. There's actually a small section in here on quantum gravity. Granted, it's it's only a few pages, but still, renormalization group uh, for part four, the spin standard model, Yang Mills theory, quantum Yang Mills theory, gluon scattering, uh, weak interactions, a little bit of QCD. Part five, which is advanced topics, goes into effective actions in the Schwinger pop proper time, background fields, heavy quark physics jets and effective field theory, I probably won't be getting into that for a very long time, or at least I would assume a couple years, but we'll see how that goes. And then there's like appendix or appendices full of, you know, things like conventions. I'm sure you could tell I am super excited for this book. It's definitely the most advanced physics textbook that I own now. Thank you so much, Mama S, for getting it for me. It's it's going it's gonna go to good use, I promise. Let me know in the comment section what all of you got for Fismas, and I'll see you guys there.